Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Problem based on oblique shock waves. So first, let me read the question. Air flowing with a Mach number of 2.5 with a pressure of 60 kPa and temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade passes over an edge which turns the flow an angle of 4 degree sorry 4 degree leading edge to the generation of an oblique shock wave find the Mach number at the downstream so what they have given in the problem they have given all the Mach number P1 T1 and also the angle at what angle it is inclined it. so this is a horizontal line imagine a horizontal line this is an wedge so if they ask total uh, if they ask the total angle of an wedge that means it is an 8 degree because the wedge means this complete section this one so here from this horizontal line from here to here it is 4 from here to here it is 4 that means total we have 8 degree but from the direction of flow that is from direction of flow is horizontal from the horizontal how much this edge is deviated 4 degree angle is deviated so make don't uh, get confused about it so from the horizontal or from the direction of the flow this edge is deviated 4 degree angle upward direction so there will be occurrence of oblique shock wave now let's see the solution here are the given data so from the degree i have converted in kelvin so i need to minus 20 plus 273 if you do plus 273 we get in terms of kelvin we got 253 kelvin and Mach number that is Mach 1 that is region 1 here is 2.5 that is upstream Mach number and the theta is 4 degree why I have taken theta is 4 degree because from the direction of the flow it is deviated 4 degree angle that's why I have taken 4 degree next after referring a gas table See the gas table, what we have in the gas table, they have given 2.5 and theta value is 4. So corresponding value of theta and corresponding value of Mach number, we can find the other factors. What factors? Beta value, P2 by P1 value and M2 value. And what is M2? Downstream of a shock wave or across the shock, Mach number across the shock wave. So, beta value is 26.61. Beta value is 26.61. P2 by P1 is 1.296 and 2 and M2 is 2.333. So, we get this factor. So, the answer is Mach number is 2.333. Three, three. Now I will tell you some alternative solution also alternative method so you, I have explained in my previous video how this diagram is formed and blah blah now you know this formula isn't so now you know the m1 value you know the beta value substitute in the equation you get m n 1 equals to 1.112 now this m n 1 1.112 is substitute in this equation here and gamma is 1.4 when you get it and apply you get m n 2 equals to 0 0.896 now you get m n 2 that is this value you got it through here now you have gonna find this m n 2 value using the normal shock wave formula or calorifically perfect gas formula you got this now using this triangle what you get you know this formula here so substitute the value what is a beta value beta is beta value is 
26.61 and theta value is 4 degree so you get as 22.61 degree sine of 22.61 degree and here mn2 is 0 0.896 so when you get apply the value you get mn2 is 2.33 same value as the previous one so either you can use both the method this is another method to solve an oblique shock wave next comes to next problem an uniform supersonic airflow at Mach number 2.0 passing over an wedge, an oblique shock wave making an angle of 40 degree with the flow direction is attached to the wedge. If the static pressure and the temperature in the phase stream are 0.5 Pascal and 0 degree, determine the static pressure and the temperature behind the wave Mach number of the flow passing over the wedge and the wedge angle. Now this is a diagram. This is a wedge, right? In the wedge, what they have said is they have said the oblique shock wave making an angle of forty degree from the direction of flow. Direction of flow is horizontal. Okay, direction of flow is horizontal from the horizontal. This from here to here is. 40 degree and from the bottom here to here is 40 degree from both the side and what is a Mach number has been given is 2 Mach number is 2 and a height of uh, this oblique shock wave the properties are 0.5 Pascal and 0 degree let's see the solution here comes the solution given data and now you you refer this is an exercise for you uh, this is exercise for you oblique shock wave you open a gas table you open oblique shock wave in perfect gas gamma equals to 1.4 when gamma equals to 1.4 the corresponding value of Mach number and the beta value is 40 approximately 40 you see what is the value you're getting if you check you will be getting an approximate value of theta what is theta from this horizontal to this edge this value is theta theta will approximately will get as 11 degree and from the corresponding properties that is p2 by p1 equals to 1.795 and the Mach number is 1.641 that means the Mach number across this you will get the 1.641 so our one of our answer is 1.641 that is a Mach number and then our second thing is what is the wage angle now here wage angle is 22 now how the wage angle is 22 this is a complete wage angle this from and this corner this corner is a complete wage angle now from here from the horizontal to this edge we know as 11 degree then this is a symmetric wage so 11 plus 11 we get as 22 so the complete wage angle is 22 I hope this session was useful and uh, for your further alternative methods you can also follow using the alternative methods and you can check your answer and if you have further doubt you can drop down to my mailbox. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being take care. Stay blessed, inspired and fly high.